Ann Lemire was a four-year starter in basketball at Frankenmuth High School, earning all-conference, team MVP, and all-state honors all four years. Coming in as a freshman, you don't expect somebody to play at that level that Ann played at, and um, so it was really hard for us to think of Ann as a freshman. Every time I think of Ann Lemire, I can just see her streaking down the floor, seemingly out of control, but in complete control and knowing exactly where she's going, seeing the whole court, looking to who she's going to dish off to with her headband on and her short floppy curls just flying everywhere. And then all of a sudden magic happens when she gets to the offensive end of the court. She was also team captain and named to the all area dream team three years. She, she just had that leadership um, as a player that you just wish every, every kid had that you coach these days. During her senior year, she was named runner-up for the state's Miss Basketball Award. She played in the Basketball Coaches Association Class A B All-Star Game and was named MVP. During her career, the Eagles won the Tri-Valley Conference and District Championship four times, Regional Championship three times, and made it to three Final Four appearances. Teams that she was on went to the Final Four three out of four times and won a state championship. Anne always elevated everyone she played with to another level. The year we went to the Final Four, I think, I think she started with two sophomores and, uh, and maybe two, I don't remember the makeup of that team, but it was an entirely different team than the 92 team. Frank and Muth won the state championship in 1992 and were state runners up in 93. I think my senior year when we won the state championship was uncomparable to any other sport I played or any other year that I played basketball. The joy of playing together and um, having the opportunity to play for the state championship but also go out and have fun as, as friends. Muth was 97-7 and during her career, including a spotless 27-0 and record her sophomore year. She still holds the state record for scoring a triple-double in the state championship game. Lemire holds school records for most steals and assists per season, as well as most plus points, a system coaches use to weight turnovers versus assists, steals, rebounds, and points per game. She is the all-time Eagles career leader in steals, assists, and scoring, and is second in rebounding. To show you what a team player she was, in her senior year, there was a situation involved about possibly being the individual game scoring leader for Franklin High School. Obviously, she ended up being the career leading scorer, but this was a game situation. And I said, Ann, you have a chance to break the school record in the individual scoring for this game. What do you want to do? She said, it's not important to me. I don't care. I don't want to do it. Additionally, she was a four-year All-Stater in track in the 800 meters, 1600 meters, and 1600 and 3200 meter relays. She placed second in the 800 meters in the state meet in her senior year. She was really a good track kid too. 1600 meters, 800 meters. She was really good. In fact, as a freshman, she was on a team that won the state championship in track. And she'd come into basketball camps with her triathlon numbers on her arm and her leg from doing other sports and run in and win everything and then run off to some other event. Lemire started at point guard her freshman year at the University of Michigan before ending the season early with a torn ACL. She was awarded the Newland Scholarship that year, which demonstrates character and motivation to excel academically and athletically. There was an article in the Free Press, uh, either early in her years at Michigan, and it, it told how Michigan had struggled, but now through some kids that were coming in, including Ann Lemire, and Ann's picture was in the Free Press, that they sort of turned it around and they did some really good things down there in her, at her time in Michigan. I, I remember going to U of M watching a couple games and it was just like, you know, she picked up right where she left off from the last time I saw her and just kept improving. Her sophomore year, she was selected to the Big Ten All-Star team that made a European tour. She helped lead the Wolverines to an NCAA tournament appearance in her junior year and was named Fox Sports Unsung Hero of the Year. As a senior, Lemire was U of M's second leading scorer, third leading rebounder, and the team's leading three-point shooter.
She still holds career records at Michigan in the three-point shooting percentage category. It was, I guess, even more fun to watch her at the next level play and compete with some of the, the you know, um, top athletes, you know, in collegiate basketball. Lemire went on to play professionally overseas. In her first season, she led her team to a national championship in Belgium's Premier League. She played her last season in the first league in France, leading her team in scoring and assists. And I know that when another team put pressure on her, whether it was in high school, college, or when she played pro in Europe, when she could feel pressure from another team, her game just went up 10 notches. Lemire earned all pro honors as well as numerous other accolades during her pro career. In college and overseas in Belgium and in France, she represented, I think, the things that Frank Muth High School taught us athletes, which was to be responsible, to be independent, and to be caring.